Hello everybody, my name is Kaylee and I'm here to help you pass the new generation NCLEX. So the first um, thing that's different is the number of questions. So the next generation NCLEX will have between 80 and 150 items. So that's only five more than the current NCLEX. The current NCLEX is 75 to 145. On the next gener generation NCLEX, 15 of the questions will be pretest questions um, and will not count towards your score. At three of the questions, at a minimum, will be case studies. So the case studies on the new generation NCLEX are a different form of question that will have a case study and then like a patient scenario and will have about six clinical judgment questions with it. And then the next thing is 52 of the questions, at a minimum, will be knowledge focused. So although there's a lot of different styles of questions on the new generation NCLEX, a lot of them will still be knowledge focused, will be the ones that are currently on the NCLEX. So it isn't changing as drastically as people think, but it still is changing quite a bit. All right, so the next thing is that the next generation NCLEX will continue to be computer adaptive testing. So this means that the test adapts as you get questions right or wrong to determine your minimal competency level. So that is not changing. That'll be the same. Uh, another thing with computer adaptive testing is that the questions you get, you have a 50% chance of getting them right and a 50% chance of getting them incorrectly. So that's how computer adaptive testing works and how it determines your minimal competency level. One tip is that the case studies will involve about six clinical judgment questions and the questions within the case studies are not computer adaptive. So when you get these groupings of questions related to the case study, those are all the same and they don't adapt uh, based on how you do, they just relate back to the case study. And then the third thing is scoring. So this is a big thing that will change on the next generation NCLEX. Uh, for example, you can receive full, partial, or no credit now. So some of the next generation NCLEX questions will be awarded full, partial, or no credit depending on your response, which is great. So partial credit on the current NCLEX is not a thing. It's either right or wrong. So this idea that you can get partial credit will be a benefit, I think, to a lot of you as you take the next generation NCLEX. So the scoring scale overall, though, will not change. So remember, it's computer adaptive. It's still assessing that minimal competency line. So even though you can get partial credit on questions and things like that, it's still going to adapt based on how well you do on those questions. And then the select all that apply questions will now be worth partial credit. So that's awesome because right now, if you um, get any part of the select all that apply questions wrong, you get the question wrong. But now on the next generation NCLEX that's set to release in April of 2023, you will receive partial credit on those questions. If you want more information on scoring, I did um, create a video on the breakdown of the specific questions and how scoring will work. So check that out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on how the next generation NCLEX is going to work, um, how you can study for it, and how you can be successful.